Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge Ace Level Information Technology Paper 2 Practical for October November 2023. I am going to solve the database task in which we have to prepare an ER diagram. The first task spreadsheet is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So this is the task. The quantity surveyor provides services for each customer such as calculating amount and cost of concrete or the number of bricks required for a project. He sends an invoice to the customers when he has finished the work to ask for payment. The quantity surveyor wants to use a database to store details of each invoice and the customer. The invoice will be sent to each customer can be sent more than one invoice but each invoice is sent to only one customer. Each invoice must have a unique invoice number, contains the name and address of the customer, identifies the project, contains details of the services provided and contains the cost of the service. So we need to prepare a conceptual entity relationship diagram for this database. A conceptual entity relation diagram will contain only the entities and the attributes. That means we have to just specify the name of the table and the, um, relate, uh, the fields used in the table. So let's create the entity relationship diagram in a Word document. I have opened a Word document. Now the ER diagrams must be done using a rounded rectangle. So I'll go to insert shapes and choose a, a rounded rectangle. So draw the rounded rectangle like this. Go to the shape format and make sure it is a plain rectangle like this. Now you can draw a line this way. You can select both this and group it so that we get a shape. So select the line as well as the rounded rectangle. Go to shape format. You can find group option here. Group. Now let's type the name of the table or the entity. You can insert a text box here. Draw a text box in this. Select the text box, give no outline. Now you can enter the name so first let's enter the details of the customer now we can insert another text box to add the customer details. So first let's give customer ID. For name, surname. And we need to include the address of the customer. So let's include some fields for the address. Street address. 
course code and city. Now customer ID will be the primary key. So let's write the PK. Now let's copy this sheet. This will be the invoice table and now we have to add the details for invoice. So there will be an invoice ID to identify each invoice. Make sure you follow a uniform convention there should be there should be no space underscore should be used and uh, each word starts with a capital letter so invoice id will be the primary key in this table then we need to have the details of the the customer id should be there so that we can link to the customer table so customer id and that will be the foreign key by which we will be linking customer and invoice. Then the project identifies the project. So we need to have a project ID here. Then contains the details of the service provided for the project. So the service. contains the cost of this service. Now let's create the symbol for relationship. So go to insert. Um, let's draw a line here. Now another line here, a small line, which represents the, uh, in a one to many relationship, this part represents the one part, so let's do. A triangle without any fill color. and outline black. Let's keep it here and go to send to back. I have selected all these three symbols like we did before go to shape format and then group it now the relationship will be this is the primary key so customer id So this will be the relationship. This part represents the one part because there is a 
a unique customer in this and here there will be many customers who will be receiving the invoice but one invoice will be sent to only one customer so that is one to many relationship here let's specify here pk is primary key and fk is foreign key So this is the required ER diagram, conceptual ER diagram. In conceptual ER diagram, we need only the uh, attributes here and the entity. So we have given the name of the tables and the fields which will be appearing in that. Some of the fields which are there in the table and the relationship is specified here. Now let's save this. You can insert your name and candidate number and details in the header. Center number and candidate number. This is a conceptual ER diagram. Now we need to save this. It should be saved as ERD followed by your center number and candidate number as a PDF format. So file, save as. Save inside your folder. So let us save, file, save as, save inside your folder, it should be saved as ERD followed by your center number and candidate number and it should be in a PDF format. You can save this. So this is your ER diagram. So this is the end of the task. You can find the link for the spreadsheet in the description. Thank you for now.